Hi, this is second grade lesson 28, and we're starting with addition. Use addition to solve each problem. So number one, we have nine plus three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus three, one, two, three. So here we had nine, 10, 11, 12. So nine plus three is 12. We don't put it like this. Instead, we have to put it like two and one so the ones place can match okay now number two we have 11 plus four we always start with the ones place so one plus four one plus one two three four we have one two three four five so one plus four is five five and the one comes down because it doesn't have any numbers below it so the answer is 15. Now, we're going to try number 6. We have 8 plus 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 plus 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're going to count. Here we had 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 8 plus 7 is 15. So again, we put the one, 5 in the 1's place and 1 in the 10's place. The answer is 15, and we're going to try one more, number 10. Now let's try number 9. So we have 0 plus 6. That is 6, because um, 0 plus any number would be the same number. And the 1 comes down, does it have any numbers below? 1, and the answer is 16. Now number 10. Um, page number two, we have subtraction. Use subtraction to solve each problem. Now we're going to try number one first. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we have to subtract two. So one, sorry. Here's one, two. We're going to count. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight. So we put eight. And number six, we have 12 minus five. We did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, minus five, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the answer would be seven. Okay, now we're gonna try two more, number nine and number 10. 18 minus 4, here's 8 minus 4, we try, we use the ones place. We figure out the ones place first, so we do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, minus 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. We count, here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, so 18 minus, oh, 8 minus 4 is 4, and the 1 comes down. So we have 18, oh, sorry, 14. And number 10, we have 20 minus 8. Here we also do the start with the ones place, but we can see that 0 is less than 8, right? The top number is less than the bottom number. So what we're going to have to do is borrow one tens from the tens place. So we're going to borrow one ten. That 2 is big going to become 1 because 2 minus 1 is 1 and we're going to add 1 10 to the 0 so that would be 10. Now we're going to think this 0 as a 10 so 10 10 minus 8 is 2 and this 1 over here comes down and that makes it 12. Fact family. Form fact family equations with the given numbers. Let's try it with number three. We have 13, 20 as our biggest number, and 7. So we start with our we start with adding our two small numbers. 13 plus 7. The order doesn't really matter here. So that's equals that equals 20 biggest number right 
and or it could be 13 uh, so, sorry 7 plus 13 that's also 20 but here's the subtraction sign so we're gonna have to put our biggest our greatest number first so 20 minus 13 it could be also 7 20 minus 13 that would be 7 and 20 minus 7 equals 13 and we do the same thing for the rest of the questions and word problems okay gabriel found 20 frogs by the pond by the pond sorry some of them hopped away and now there are seven left how many frogs hopped away so, so 20 frogs were by the pond and seven left so 20 minus seven we have to borrow one tenth one ten from the two because zero is less than seven. Now this zero is now going to become ten. And ten minus seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Minus seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry. So here's one, two, three. Right? So it's ten minus seven is three and now this one is going to come down because it doesn't have any numbers below it so it's 13 and it says how many frogs hopped away so we're gonna write 13 frogs okay so 13 frogs hopped away thank you